Hey everybody, it's Static Silver, and today I'm going to do a very brief review on Frozen Flame brought to you by Daredrop. Daredrop is a fantastic content creator service, uh, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, but today's uh, review is about Frozen Flame, a new early access game, which is absolutely wonderful. If you're looking for a mix of Minecraft, Genshin Impact, World of Warcraft, uh, Valheim, this is your game. Without further ado, let's get into it. As mentioned, Teardrop is a wonderful content creator service where you can sign up as a streamer, YouTube creator, and you can actually go in and check out some of the dares for different types of games. So for example, this Trinity Trigger, you can click on check out dares. It'll give you a brief description of the game itself. It'll give you a whole bunch of options for different dares. You can accept dares. You'll be given access depending on the level of difficulty the dare is and the type of game that they're offering. If it's a bigger type game, most likely you already have to have the game. Um, otherwise, if it's a newer, you know, indie game um, and the creators have enough keys to give out, when you accept your first dare, you'll be given, you know, your first access key. You complete these different uh, dares. So, for example, with this one, do a barrel roll, where if you complete three close calls in a row, then it tells you what reward you get. And in this one, you get a desktop wallpaper uh, A for viewers, and you get one of them. So it's a wonderful service that you can accept dares with your community, and you can do it for any type of game, and you can make custom dares with your own community uh, and they can give you a prize of whatever they want whether it be monetary or anything else like that it's a great service check them out daredrop.com as I mentioned frozen flame is a mix of minecraft valheim genshin impact or the warcraft essentially it's a survival action game and so far from what i've played it has been absolutely wonderful so let me go ahead and show you, you know, their different offerings. So once you load up the game, you can click on play and you have the choice between campaign, which is your single player, um, or you can always play with up to six people locally. Uh, there's a private server where you can play up to 24 people. You would create a server, your own rules, and you would be able to have friends, family, whatever it might be, join your private server. Otherwise, you can have a public server up to 50 people, and this is more of the uh, PvP type action that the game has. So you can compete other against other players in challenges, game modes, stuff like that. Uh, so far, I've done the private server uh, with two other people, and it has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, we actually did like our own mini uh, three versus three uh, fight, and I lost because I suck in PvP, but that's okay. Anyway. Uh, I am currently going to show you the campaign mode. I have not tried a public server yet, uh, but when you click into it, you'll see that there's a bunch of servers, you know, already made. So, like, for example, you already have 9 out of 30 people in this one. So, for the most part, you know, you have, you know, a decent amount of people playing right now. It is fairly late, you know, as I'm recording this, so you may not have many people on, you know, here. Uh, but you can always see that there's constant servers, you know, available to you. But let's go ahead and go back to campaign just so I can show you, you know, a little bit of the game basics and why this game is wonderful. So we're going to go into campaign. Um, I created this easy one uh, just so you guys can kind of see, um, you know, what it's like and what you actually can do in here. The art is wonderful. Uh, so once we load in, You'll see the graphics, the artwork um, is absolutely fantastic. The music is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, so far, this game has been absolutely great. You know, it has that World of Warcraft feel to it. It has the, you know, Minecraft, you know, kind of like set up, you know, on the UI. Um, it has the Valheim feel, you know, of that survival. And it has that Genshin Impact feel of the art and, you know, outside world. So, as you can see, it kind of takes a little bit long to load up right now. It could also just be my computer. I'm not sure. Uh, so, once it loads. If it loads. Hopefully. 
this is weird. It shouldn't be taking this long. I'll be back. And we're back. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, the art is great. The music is great. Everything about the game is great. So you have the Minecraft kind of set up, you know, in the UI. You have the Valheim set up in terms of kind of like the building and structures. You have the Genshin Impact of like the art style and, you know, play through. And you have the World of Warcraft feel of just kind of like that single player, uh, you know, MMO, even though it's not really an MMO. But anyway, once you're loaded into, into the game and actually can play, you know, you'll see the resources on the ground, such as these branches that you can pick up. Uh, you'll find stone that you can pick up. Stone. Uh, and you'll also find this right here. Harvesting. Which will be, you know, your fibers. And if you pick up fabric from enemies, you can craft different uh, items, such as the cloth robes uh, that I'm currently wearing, you know, around the chest right now. Uh, as you collect resources and you keep going, you know, along the game, you can kind of start building up, you know, as you go. So, for example, I have this little, you know, starting platform right here with my workbench, you know, wooden chest, you know, for storage, uh, bedding, started a campfire, which you can actually go up to the campfire and actually cook if you had ingredients in your bag. But I put everything in the box. Uh, and when you build, you can press tab, which will allow you to craft uh, you know, kind of simple things, you know, directly without the need for the workbench. You can craft from the workbench with, uh, which gives you a little bit more advanced items. Or you can also press Q and that will allow you to kind of build, you know, foundations and the actual buildings uh, that you need to build, you know, over time. So eventually you can build a house, you can build, you know, an outside area for your campfire. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, the art is just fantastic. Like, the world generation is wonderful. You know, I love the trees. I love the background. You know, I kind of love everything about it. The character designs are great. Like, my character, I just randomized it, and it looks wonderful. Uh, the characters, NPCs, look great. Like, this guy, he looks fantastic. Hornhead. The dialogue is great like they kind of have a weird language but as you read through the dialogue dialogue is wonderful and the different like monsters i don't even know what they're called but you know i'm not going to attack it because then it becomes you know unfriendly towards you at nighttime they also become unfriendly towards you but like look at these they just float they look great uh if we go over here where there's a chest uh you should be able to see some enemies pop up so I can kind of show you the combat style. Uh, they should respawn if we come over here. Yep, there we go. Like, look at the enemies. They just look great too. So combat style is pretty easy. I already looted the chest, so I don't think you can reloot it. But yeah, that's a piece of fabric that you picked up from that enemy. Um, once you kill enemies, you earn uh, flame power. You can use that flame power at these little crystal altar things to power up your character. For example, this. We'll go ahead and get some extra health because, you know, why not? I'm bad at games and I could always use extra health. Uh, so you level up your character. Uh, there's different activities. So, for example, if you go over to this rune over here and you click on it, you'll see these like little mini runes. And what this one will do is it'll activate three of these mini ones. You have to go run around and collect the rune power. However, as you're doing it, these blue guys become angry at you and start attacking you as you're doing it. So they're kind of like get angry that you're stealing their kind of like power source or whatever it might be. Uh, but the quest point quest points create this like little beam of yellow, so you can kind of see exactly where you're going. Out in the distance, looks wonderful. 
and and just the game itself in general right now has been absolutely fantastic so if you guys have not had a chance to do so definitely take a look at frozen flame uh you can play easy uh medium and hard difficulties as of right now uh they might release more i'm actually kind of hoping they release more so like for example if you beat it not hard there could be like hardcore hardcore or like deathly something like that whatever it might be uh so the three game modes are great the game is great definitely check them out daredrop thank you again so much for giving me this opportunity and i hope you all have a chance to play i hope you all have a great day thank you very much